So I want to see if this bar closes above both the 50 MA here and also the plus 0.25 deviation. See, it may just be a uh, wick and then come back down. So let's see. I have a uh, trailing stop here. Hmm. So let's see what happens here with this, with this bar. When it closes, closes above, most likely we have a high probability it's going to try to test up here somewhere. And you can see where the retracement, the fib retracement is. There's your wide range bar right there. So that's a good sign that it may go up. See, now we also have this. So let me let that hit there. That's fine. If I get, hits my chilling stop. There's your, what we call a wide range bar. See from this right there up to wherever this is going to end right here. So you have one here and now you also have another one from here to here. You have one here from this right here, the small one up to here. That's why they blocked that up. Now that's the upside. So we may have another one right here. So this is going to be going from here. Get my get off. This one. From there to so far, it looks like right there. Right? So that's where your wide range bar is. Now, I'm just waiting for this to hit my trailing stop. Stop filled. Order submitted. Order filled. Or, or, order, order, order filled. Order submitted. 
order filled. Okay, so I got close to break even. This is going down further, as you can see, right? But I don't want to take a risk away the market is moving. So we'll see how it moves in the morning session. <laughs> 